Thank you. Um, I'm really interested in learning more about how to have the most exhilarating experience in athletics and in my body um, in terms of relating to my cells. I heard you say something really exciting recently. Um, sorry, I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> you were saying that most human beings respond to how their bodies feel and that we have so much more capacity to tell our bodies, talk to ourselves, connect, and let them know how we want them to feel. And I really am interested in like a higher, deeper, more exhilarating co-creation with the cells, the consciousness of the cells in my body. Well, we think that's a really good idea. And we know that you will like it as you accomplish it consciously and deliberately. But there's something a little bit backwards in the way you presented the question to us. And so we want to straighten that around and then off we'll go. And that is... Because, well, you're talking about talking to your cells. We just want you to understand that if you can think not about instructing your cells, but about taking instruction from them. In other words, it's not so much about what you're telling them as about what they're telling you because they are consciousness who is in direct conversation with your source energy. And it is to the degree that you are worrying about things and blocking that communication that makes you then not understand. So the more you are reaching for thoughts that feel good and the more that you are finding thoughts that feel good, the more rampages of appreciation and lists of positive aspects, the more that that is just a natural, easy, natural way for you to feel as you begin each day, then the less you will be blocking the communication between your cells and their source. Now, we don't want to separate you from your cells and we certainly don't want to separate you from your source but we do want to tell the story in this way your source has direct conversation and communication with your cells and if you aren't in the way it will go really really well but your so your cells are giving you communication all the time in forms of impulses in forms of craving but most humans are not allowing their cells to let them know what they need because you stupid cell, there's far too many carbs in that thing that you are making me crave than in I, what I want. And so I'm going to override your request and not give you what you're asking for because I have some, I'm responding to something outside of me rather than something inside of me. So you're understanding clearly. Your cells know what to do. They are brilliant genius your body is a veritable chemical factory it is in concert with itself think about the forming of the body do you realize that not that long ago you were just like a little smear on a petri dish <laughs> and out of that little smear here you are don't you find that amazing that each part of the little smear knew what it was supposed to do in order to turn out the way you are don't you find that just amazing that's intelligence and consciousness that's going on between source and cells that you don't need to get actively involved in but you do want to trust the knowledge of these cells these intelligent cells and trust the knowledge of the source within you and then you do your work your work your work what is your work all day long which is to get feeling as good as you can about anything that you can feel good about and then follow the impulses that come and it is our promise to you that you'll be on a path of good feeling energizing good feeding good fueling uh, beingness awesome. yeah and in athletics um, in sports I we, we, we're surprised that any of you we're interrupting you but mm -hmm. we just want to stick this in we're surprised any of you can find anything to eat because you've read something about everything that makes it inappropriate for you to eat and so you do the majority of your eating in turmoil <laughs> so you say all right cells see if you can get anything good out of this because I've got <laughs> I've got you as blocked off as I possibly can because I'm on a path of deprivation this morning so in in that moment when you're when you're eating and obviously in between the cells are working all the time but even before that, even before the impulse to eat comes, if you can have prepared your grid, if you can, in other words, do, do that work and then, and then, and then follow the impulse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Um, 
when I want to go. And then and, when the grid fills. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then when the grid fills in with an impulse. Uh huh. And the impulse feels good as it comes and as you follow through with it. That's your evidence. I prepared the grid. Uh -huh. I prepared my right. culture, my atmosphere, my climate. Uh -huh. I did the work. I did the only work that mattered. I've been doing it for a while, so it's easy. And now the impulses are flowing to me and the recognition that you will have as your cells participate in jubilation with you mm -hmm. that will translate in the form of clarity, in the form of vitality, in the form of energy in the form of physical well-being in the form of sleeping well in the in other words oh there will be so much evidence of the alignment that you have found but you have to be willing to find the alignment it's like hundred thousand dollars in debt hundred thousand dollars in the black is what you're looking for probably not going to happen today just like you'd like it to but you can feel well-being you can feel ease and so that's what you're shooting for with 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 anything you're looking for the feeling of ease first trusting that the impulse will come that will continue to bring you the evidence that you're looking for that is more more striking evidence that then others can see and hear and smell and taste and touch awesome you answered everything i had on that and you just tipped on the other thing that i was curious about um this idea of reality and vibrational reality versus what versus the reality that we interpret with our five senses. Um, I'm really interested in, I, I'm clear that I have my own internal dialogue that's going on in my head, my own personal reality, and I know everyone has that. By the time I have become a vibrational match to something that's in my, uh, in my vortex, so much so that others can see it, is it that I have now become a vibrational match for the them that also sees it yes in part but 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 this is the most important thing long before you became that which others could see mm -hmm. you had that vibration going on and them seeing it just means it was going on long enough that you got enough momentum going that it became obvious to everyone in other words that's that birth that we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. And we know sometimes these conversations are not very satisfying to you because you say, well, rah, 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 vibrational reality. I want the money in my bank where I can spend it. Mm -hmm. I want, I want the experiences. And we say it has to be enough for you for a while. You, if you are looking for the evidence of your, your vibrational accomplishment in the form of emotion and finding it, and you are willing to continue to be pleased with the emotional evidence for a while, the rest of the evidence in every manner that you're speaking of will come to you. But if you, if you get to that place where you say the emotional evidence is not enough, I, it's not enough for me to just feel optimistic or happy about this or trusting mm -hmm. I can no longer hold myself there then we say you, the momentum will slip away from you you see it is a progressive thing so it's really worth hanging in there and feeling good for no logical reason until the reason shows up that really is what we're talking about Got it. yeah you may ask one more question um, last Last question. I had an experience um, a few months ago that was really, it felt very profound to me and I enjoyed it. And I'm just curious if you have any insight on it. Um, it didn't feel like a dream that you have at night when you sleep. It felt like an alternate consciousness where I was aware of basically kind of like a different version of myself and a different version of my mom in what I was interpreting in my perception of it as kind of an, almost like an alternate physical reality. Are there such things? Yes, but this is the way we would describe it in your deliberate working to find alignment with who you are and finding it much of the time you are coming to resonate in this more steady recognition of this non-physical perspective so you are beginning in many ways to see your world through the eyes of source when you find yourself saying something that is way better than you've ever said it before <laughs> you're you that's one of those resonant moments when mm -hmm. you are you are an extension of that mm -hmm. source energy and so 
some people want to call those out-of-body experiences we want to call it seeing the world through the eyes of source mm -hmm. it's and it does feel like a different vantage point because mm -hmm. it's not a vantage point that people often experience Esther often describes it to others when she's driving often it doesn't feel to her as if her wheels are on the road there's a sort of ethereal quality to her moment in time where she's perceiving things she's aware of what's happening in traffic even before anyone's signaling she sort of knows what that one's gonna do she sort of finds her place in her driving pod she sort of knows where she wants to be it's like she, it's like she's allowing the non-physical aspect of her to view her world and the thing that, the reason that we love so much giving this picture to you and affirming back to you the experience that you had is because this is the way you all have intended to live in your physical bodies you intended to find vibrational it's what we talk about all day so far here today alignment with this broader part of yourself so that the total you is present in the moment so that the fullness of you if, we love you so much but you have such a screwy perspective of how the source fits in with that which you are you've separated yourself from source made source smarter and wiser when source is flowing to you and through you unconditionally unconditional love unconditional knowing unconditional good driving unconditional <laughs> knowing where the radar is unconditional unconditional appreciation unconditional clarity unconditional unconditional things are always working out for you unconditional 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 and as you find reason to believe that and know that a little piece here and a little piece here and practice it and practice it and practice it and practice it you're gonna have far more moments like that where you can feel the whole of who you are present in this moment which is what each and every one of you meant for each and every moment mm. not one of you said I'll go forth I know you're available <laughs> but I'll pinch myself off from you and then you can measure me against all the others who've pinched themselves off I'll dig really deep holes and I'll crawl in and then when I crawl out other humans will clap <laughs> Thank you so much. and we say you came to feel good and to and to feel good in this moment and in this moment and in this moment but you got to practice it first thing in the morning for a little while to get the hang of it and clearly you have been doing that thank you something more that's it thank you so much awesome.